Chapel. Rudo, uh, what brings you to the Zio Awards? Hi. Um, I'm actually part of the Zio team. So, uh, year after year, it's always a delight to be here. And I am so excited to be here to support the women who are doing exceptionally well in the field. So, yeah, that's why I came to support the women. For organizations to move forward, the need to have a culture that's inclusive of everybody. Uh, we live in such a diverse, inclusive country that sometimes it's not reflected in the workplace, that the more senior people are, the less diverse it is. So if companies are to move forward, they have to start opening up and being a lot more inclusive, getting more women onto the boards, trying to get a lot more diverse and more people from ethnic minorities onto senior positions in companies. So yeah, that's the biggest challenge for us really. Tonight is the 2016 Zio Awards taking place at Athena in Leicester. I've got part of the Zio team here with me. It's Shingi. Shingi Sheba is part of the Zio Awards team and she's a publicist. So Shingi, what has been your major challenge in preparing for this event? I think the major challenge is when we had so many nominations in the team and narrowing it down to five nominations per category. That has been the greatest challenge because there's so many women doing the nominations. You talk about so many nominations, how many have they been roughly? I would say about 300 um, nominations. Of course, there's some nominees who are repeatedly nominated, but about 300 get it. and she got the first award tonight. Congratulations, Thank Zodwa. Thank you very much. It's really unexpected and wonderful at the same time. <laughs> so, uh, which plays have you written before and where have they been produced? Uh, well, I first started writing um, in Leeds, so that was at the West Yorkshire Playhouse. So, my plays have been on, which was my first play to Boy Boy is Dead, which was on there. Um, and then we toured to London. Um, there was Night Live, which is current, which toured in here since 2014, and it's still touring now. Um, and I've done some stuff at the Manchester Royal Exchange. I just had a play on in Greece and in Germany, and then we took a play to Paris. So kind of all over, we get around. Wow, that's a lot of traveling. Yeah. So where do you hope to be in the next two years? Um, well, one of the things I'm looking at doing now is doing um, film adaptations of my plays. So it's kind of where we're going in the next two years. to be able to have more business advisors on board. We really feel that it's important when someone has a business idea, they can have a chance to sit on a one-to-one -one with a business advisor, looking at how they can develop their business plan, looking at financial projections, looking at how they can market their business or service they want to provide. So in the future, we want to have more business advisors on board. We'd also look at more funding. Because, you know, in terms of um, starting a, a, an, en an enterprise, you do need some money. And quite often people do need a good income to start off with. 